Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello friends. In today's video, we will be discussing about variable declaration and loops in playbook. So be before moving forward, let's discuss about some of the advantages of variable declaration and loops. So in variable declaration, instead of creating multiple tasks for installing multiple packages, we are simply creating a single task by using variable in the playbook. So whenever we want to perform multiple tasks like installation of multiple packages, then we can also do it with the help of variable declaration by configuring a single task in the playbook. And similarly, the loops are basically used to repeat a task using different input values like variable declaration. So in case if the same task has to be repeated again and again, then we can simply define a loop in which the different input values can be entered and these values can be used by the loops to perform the task again and again. So let's jump into the practical. So here we have an Ubuntu instance and the Ansible is already installed on it. So in this example, we are basically using a variable definition, which is termed as VARS to install multiple packages, vim and yum utils. And simply, similarly, we can also modify only the package names. So if we create a file and name it as variable, we can paste this code in this file. So basically this is a sample code which we are using as a reference for variable declaration. So first of all variable declaration works with the defining terms of where. So by simplifying by writing where we are simplifying that we are using the variable declaration. Now in this we are defining the packages which are going to be installed and those are vim and yum utils and the tasks which are we giving for the variable declaration is to install the package and get the latest version of the package so like this code we can simply give or assign the task to the host or node computers which which are connected to the ansible environment and this is a very basic code for variable declaration we can also increase the complexity of the code according to our requirements so i'll simply save this file now talking about the loops to create a loop within a task include the option with items with an array of value so whenever we are including a loop within a task then we need to include the option which is with underscore items with the array of values and the content can be accessed through the loop variable item so again let's create a yaml file named loop So in this yaml file what we are simply doing is that we are naming the tasks which are to be performed and also we are simply adding the option that is with underscore items with the array of values so that the loop can be created within the task so here the task name is install packages and we are simply getting the latest packages in this task but what we need to do is we need to use these three items in a loop while performing this task and that is the reason why we are defining it under the with underscore items so this is also a very basic code for defining a loop whenever we are performing some tasks and the complexity of the code can be increased according to our requirements So I'll simply save this code. 
now one more thing is that the array variable can also be used to define the items so in case if you want to define some particular items which are being used in our loops then we can use the array variable so let's create a yaml file named array and paste the following code inside the file so talking about this code basically we are specifying the hosts which will be configured when the code is run and it we are simply configuring all the hosts and we are also giving the administrator access to the particular files now here we have already done the variable declaration in which the packages which we are using is vim git and curl and the tasks to be performed are to install package and get the latest updates but also we are also defining an area variable with the loop task item which is the packages so all in all we are simply defining the array, array variable within the loop items so like this we can simply create new and new yaml files according to our requirements and we can customize the code the code written in these files according to the performance of the task if we need to uh, install the multiple packages if we need to perform multiple tasks over a time then we can modify the code accordingly so there are many options that we get with the help of this yaml playbook files and variable declaration and loops in the playbook are some of the features of the ansible environment so i'll save this file so friends in today's video we just learned how we can simply declare a variable and loops in playbook and also we can use the variables to define the items and that was all for today's video thank you